Thanks, guys. Vince, welcome back to Houston. <laughs> excited to be back home? I'm definitely happy to be home. It's always good to be back in where it all started. Houstonians, H-Town is where it all started at, baby. And you have some exciting stuff coming up this month, some ways you're looking to get back in the community and give back. Tell me a little bit about that. Yeah, um, the first thing we're doing is uh, today, bas uh, basically, we're doing some stuff with Ronald McDonald House. Uh, got word that they was, you know, a little low in the pantry on some food and things like that. And a good friend of mine, Mike West, called me out and reached out to me and said, hey, Vince, let's do what we do. Let's make sure we can get these these babies something to eat over here and a couple of little treats and things like that. And, and we went off to the ground running, started marketing and started reaching out to our social Great. media base and things like that. And it took off from there. And then I'm doing my first jamboree uh, with football teams and in the community, trying to bring everybody together before the season start. Oh, you know, let the, let the kids know, man, we're very proud of you guys. I start the season off right sports-wise as well as school-wise and kind of like, like a fun day in the park where everybody can just hang out and just have a good time. And then also the parents can see their babies go some touchdowns before the season start. It's going to be a lot of fun. So you're Madison High School product. Yeah. You've talked before about growing up in a community that maybe didn't have all the resources that you wanted it to. Yeah. Is that why you're really wanting to get back in here and give these kids some things that you didn't have? Yeah, I mean, Steve McNair was one of my mentors uh, growing up. You know, before he passed away, he, he engraved in me, man, make sure you always give back to the community. And me being from a low poverty area, you always get those people that's hating on you, never mm -hmm. saying that you're not going to play quarterback, you're not going to go to college. All these things that come at you as you uh, grow up in these low poverty areas. So I just want to be a testimony for these young kids. It's like I was in the same boat you guys was in. So don't use that as for you to fail. Use that as motivation and to get to the point to where you want to be at in life. So I use youth sports and, and all these things, these avenues to uh, for me when I was growing up to, to get to college and get to the things that I'm doing right now. So I just want to make sure these young kids understand you can do all, anything is possible. Right. If you work hard, stay focused, and make sure you pay attention to your mentors, the sky's the limit for you. And look at me, I'm the testimony for you. <laughs> right, and this has been a pivotal year for you. Tell me a little bit about kind of the personal journey that's led you back here to Houston, and I'm sure you're excited to be here back home and, and starting a new chapter. Well, I mean, I'm from Texas, so, you know, being a Texas native, man, it's, just been, it's, it's a blessing. So, yeah. uh, you know, a lot of the fans, a lot of the people have always watched me because I've been a kid growing up. And and, you know, I've been all over the world. You know, I tell, <laughs> told my people, my everybody that I've been talking to, letting people know I'm back in the city. I left in 2002. <laughs> yeah. And that's a long time ago. It's 2019, about to be 2020. So I'm just happy to be back home and um, can, uh, put my stamp and kind of finish my legacy how I want it. You know, going to the College Hall of Fame this year, later right. on this year. I mean, everything is just falling into play you know, with my business. You know, a lot of different things are going, uh, moving in the right direction. So I want to just stay focused, but I also want to show uh, the state of Texas as well as Houston and different cities around Texas that anything you need from Vince, man, I'm here and I want to support and do anything that we can make our, our state look great. <laughs> so you mentioned the College Football Hall of Fame. That'll be at the end of football season in December when you'll yes. be inducted. You went 30 and 2 at Texas, which is just, <laughs> I mean, that's mind blowing. What kind of an honor is that for you and kind of an exciting moment at this point in your life? Well, for one, it's a blessing from God for giving me the opportunity to play the game for one and then also be a voice uh, for a lot of low poverty areas like my uh, community that I, I grew up in for one. And then this is my family, man. Just being the first to graduate from college to start that trend in my family. Now my son is talking about he wants to go to Texas. Oh my my daughter, they already saying hook them and things like that. So <laughs> of course. to start that trend and then to finish off with a college hall of fame, you know, I, it hasn't hit me yet. Uh, I was talking to one of my other, my teammates, Selwyn Young. He's like, bro, that's big, bro. I'm like, is it? And then you Just got people calling me legends. You got <laughs> yeah. people calling me, oh, I'm like, whoa. <laughs> And my mom with the gray hair is coming out, but slow down, baby. But at the same time, it's just a blessing. But also, a lot of hard work paid off. Oh, yeah. And a lot of people don't uh, don't understand that it. it started. A lot of people know the football, the, the the Rose Bowl game, and the NFL and things like that. But they don't know how much hard work behind the scenes it took me mm -hmm. to get to this point today that I am today. So I'm just honored, and I. My coaches, my teammates, everybody had a hand in getting me to that uh, that College Hall of Fame. So I want to thank those guys, but and as well as my family. So you plan to make it to some Texas games this year? And what are kind of your initial <laughs> thoughts on this season's team? Uh, man, I'm, I'm definitely going to be there to support all the time, man. I'm, I'm a longhorn. I bleed orange. So if you cut me, you can see it come out my arm. <laughs> I'm going to always be there to support, man. That's my little brother. So I mentor him. I'm proud of to, uh, Sam Ellinger right now. He has that, that it factor, that, that VY. 
you know, yeah. silliness and the guys <laughs> are feeding around and, and as well as Tom Herman, man, he's doing a really good job. I know a lot of Houstonians are really upset that we, we took him away from U of H, oh, but yeah. at the same time, <laughs> uh, I'm very proud because he started with Coach Brown. He was uh, with uh, Coach Herman Myers. He has that experience from some legendary yeah. coaches. So to see that he's, he has the it factor as a coach. Yeah, exactly. He has the it factor as a coach. So I'm really happy to see that he's he's starting to take off and get the, the UT team back into the right direction where they need to be. So you know all about what it takes to be a college football quarterback, also NFL. What are your thoughts on Deshaun Watson? He's My brought man. so much excitement to the city <laughs> of Houston. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it this year. I mean, being a Houstonian, I'm, I'm again, I'm a Titans guy, so we, yeah. we play the same conference, so we go at it. But sometimes, like me and uh, Deshaun Washington cross paths, and I always tell them, man, I'm very proud of you. Keep up the great work, man. Make sure you let the coaches know that you are getting more mature. So put more on your plate, so you can go to the line of scrimmage and get, you know two plays. I mean, if that first play don't work, you can always check check to the next play. So I'm hoping that coach give him more things on his play. I think it's going to be a good year because he got a really good guys around him. You got Miller, you got Hopkins. Hopkins. I was going to say, <laughs> I was going to say, how much would you have loved to have a guy like Hopkins that you're passing to every game? Man. He he, zero I, drops last season. Exactly. He didn't, have, he didn't have a single drop. So, you know, me and him had an autograph signing <laughs> a, a while back and I told him like, dude, <laughs> you lucky I didn't play with you. <laughs> we would have showed up and pulled up. So, in the same time, I'm very proud of the team. I'm glad the direction that they're going in. I know they had some. I know they had a long off season, but to see them guys getting games going, and then the city is behind it. I'm looking forward for this, uh, the foreman. Uh, my boy from UT running yeah. back, he's he's getting healthy. I'm, so I'm looking for a lot of these different things for them to uh, take it to the next level. But same time, guys, y'all got to come see Tennessee Titans, so tighten up. So. <laughs> okay, so you mentioned your, your two things coming up. You're really getting involved with the <clears throat> Ronald McDonald House and then uh, your jamboree. What are yes. some ways that people can get involved if they want to, if they want to help you in, in your efforts to give back in the Houston community? Well, you can go to uh, timvinceyoung.com. Uh, that's my official website. We have pretty much everything on there from uh, that you can sign up and um, get your team involved with the, the jamboree. And then you go. You can go to uh, Vince Young 10 on my Instagram and you can see uh, all the information for where you can drop off items uh, for the Ronald McDonald House and as well as we have, if you don't can't make that, you can, you know, donate the money and we have a text on there that you can do donate money to as well. So everything is online, you know, just look me up and you'll see a big kid. It's a baby face on my, my uh, page. So that <laughs> is me. So definitely look us up, man. We're looking forward to everybody coming out and supporting. Okay. Well, thank you so much for joining yeah. us. Thank and you. welcome back to Houston. Everybody's glad to have you back. H-Town, we back, baby. <laughs> <laughs>